Yep, you read that right. MatPat and the Game Theorist channel are under fire once again. And let me say this, the only thing worse than people getting outraged over very trivial things are people who pretend to be outraged over very trivial things. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community or pop culture and try to see what lessons we can learn from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And yeah, in this video, we're gonna be discussing what's going on with MatPat and Game Theory, some stuff going on on Twitter. But anyways, if you haven't met me yet, hi, my name's Chris. And I think outrage culture, cancel culture, all of it is absolutely ridiculous, all right? If you think it's ridiculous, make sure you check out my new book, Canceled Inside YouTube Cancel Culture. It's out now in both ebook and audiobook format, and it's always linked down in the description, down in the pinned comment below, all right? But let's get started with this story. So earlier I was messaged about this story. I was sent a clip from this video from Game Theorist. At first, I didn't even know what it was. Um, to be honest with you, I don't watch Game Theorist that much. I'm much more of a film theorist fan. All right, but Matt Pat, awesome dude. I love that dude, right? But anyways, I, I was sent this clip and then I was doing some research. I'm like, what is this? Where is this coming from? Then I found out it was about Matt Pat and the Game Theorist, right? But anyways, uh, it wasn't actually Matt Pat who made this particular video, but Matt Pat is the one everybody associates game theory and film, film theory with, right? So anyways, I wanted to dig deeper. I'm like, are people really outraged? Because the clip actually came from a video saying, you know, a theory, which they do, a theory that some of the characters in Minecraft are of Jewish descent, all right? So I'm like, okay, you know, and people are just making a big deal out of it. I'm like, all right. So I started digging deeper. I'm like, where did this start? Where did this origin come from? I'm not sure if this was the first person, but the most traction I saw came from a, a, a YouTuber named Bernie TXT. Um, he's done some videos. He did some videos on the Pro Jared situation, I believe. He has uh, quite a few followers on Twitter as well. And he shows it. So let me explain this, all right? Like recently, I did a video about this the other day. Like people say that cancel culture isn't real, all right? Like that is as silly as saying that no forms of racism is real, you know, misogyny isn't real, sexism isn't real. Although some people just throw those labels on stuff all willy nilly, like these things do happen. Like, let me make something very clear. Just because something didn't happen to you doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Let me explain one aspect of cancel culture and how absolutely silly and ridiculous it is. So this is the tweet from Bernie TXT, all right? so. Like, let's, let's break this down for a second. This was a video that was unlisted months ago. Months ago, it was unlisted. Why is it resurfacing now? But what makes it even stranger was, this is a video from 2016. Like, do me a favor. If you don't think cancel culture is real or ridiculous, and I might make a video about uh, the dude who was just recently fired from SNL, but I want you to sit back and ask yourself, who is finding these things? Who is scouring the internet looking for some dirt on somebody? Who is digging through years worth of game theorist content, right? And found this video, okay? But the other thing is, it was unlisted. So somebody, somebody, part of the organization, I'm assuming was like, oh man, you know, with all the people getting, you know, the hate mob coming after them now, maybe we should unlist this video, all right? And they unlisted it three months ago, all right? So think about how insane that is. But anyways, the outrage over it is silly, all right? There's this thing, which is a, a an insane misconception, and pretty soon we're gonna talk about cognitive distortions, where everybody wants their feelings validated. They want their feelings 
validated. Like, listen, you are allowed to feel any way you want to, but that does not mean all of your feelings are justified, okay? For example, if somebody looks at me from across the room and I think they're giving me a stink eye and I feel that way, that doesn't necessarily mean that's true. This is what we call a cognitive distortion. And this happens all the time with cancel culture because one specific cognitive distortion is called mind reading. And this happens all the time because you are assuming somebody's intent. All right, so anyways, looping back to how silly this is, the, the game theorist video was talking about this theory that they were of Jewish descent. Now, I watched this video, it's only like five minutes long and it's unlisted. I don't know if they've fully made it private yet or whatever, but anyways, it is not problematic. It is not controversial. Like I am not Jewish, but there is nothing in there. Like if anything, it, it says a bunch of good things about the Jewish people. Like. What the hell is happening? Okay, like in my opinion, these are the same people who get outraged over science, all right? Like imagine, let's, let's take this exact same scenario and put it into a different situation. Let's say scientists had a theory that certain ancient skeletons came from Africa. All right, I'll talk about that because I'm actually half black. Now imagine me getting outraged. How dare you assume that these skeletons are African based on your science? Like, how silly and ridiculous would that be? So in my opinion, and if Bernie TXT ever sees this video, and if he wants to correct me, that's cool. But in my opinion, there are a lot of people out there who are not really outraged or upset about this. They just like to stir the pot. They like to find things that might be controversial and bring it to the spotlight and get some things going, all right? and. People like MatPat, I think, are smart enough to not even reply to this, but I don't think most of the people finding this stuff are legitimately offended. But if they're not, what's their motivation? Now, what they'll say to you, what they'll say to you, the narrative they'll try to sell you is, they're trying to do this to, to expose people as the, the awful people they are, like you should know, right? You should know if there's actually a, a wolf in sheep's clothing, right? But I don't think that's it. Like if these people were these, these arbiters of just moral virtues, right? Like I would assume that they're out there donating their time to different charity organizations and things like that but I would almost guarantee you most of them aren't. Most of them aren't. They sit there on the internet and these are the people who just like stirring stuff up and seeing if they can direct the hate mob to different places. There are a lot of angry people in the world right now and these guys are like these, these uh, uh, coordinators of saying, hey, here's somebody you can be mad at. Oh, you got some built up anger today? Here's somebody you can direct that at, right? So what's their motivation? I don't know. I'm gonna assume, I don't know. I don't wanna do the cognitive distortion of mind reading. So here's my theory, but hey, it's just a theory, all right? My theory is it's, it's for views, it's for attention, all right? Some cases, if they're monetized, it might be money. You know what I mean? It's almost like, how the news sensationalizes everything. Like, do you ever watch news organizations like on, on Twitter or on social media and the headlines they have? And you look at it and you're like, why is that even news? Now you're watching all of these commentary and drama channels and everything like that, bring it up. Hell, like I'm guilty of it as well. I just like coming on here and sometimes providing my opinion on situations, sometimes educating people about different aspects of, you know, I've done some videos recently on psychology and philosophy and things like that. But anyways, like, I think one of the other ones is like, maybe they wanna be known, well, a lot of people want attention, but a lot of people also wanna be known as like these great investigators. Like they're these investigative journalists, like look how much time I spent digging up this dirt and it's so silly. Like if I knew somebody like that in my life who was like spending hours combing through videos just to find something problematic, I would tell my friend that they need to get a new hobby. Like that their life is going down a weird path if this is what they like doing, all right? But 
to wrap this video up about MatPat and the game theorists and things like that, like let's just talk about cognitive distortions for those who were actually offended by nothing that was intended to be offensive. This was not a hate video. Like these are people who need to check in with themselves because no therapist or mental health professional on earth would tell them that they are justified for being outraged about this, all right? A thought experiment that I keep trying to teach people is, when you see this happening, imagine what a therapist would tell you. Walking into your therapist and saying, oh my God, I'm having the worst day ever. I just found out that three years ago, Matt Pat and the game theorists post a video theorizing that some of the characters in Minecraft were Jewish, all right? A good therapist would ask you to challenge those thoughts, to challenge those cognitive distortions. You know how you could tell if your thoughts are a little bit screwy? Because a bad therapist would say, oh, you're right. You're right, that's a great idea. You should be outraged about this. This is awful. This is a travesty. You need to rise up, <laughs> you know? Like no therapist in their right mind would play into this. So if you just wanna check in with yourself and see if you're getting really angry about something ridiculous, ask yourself what a therapist would tell you, all right? Like, trust me, my brain, I used to have a lot of anger issues. I wanna get mad over really stupid, trivial things all the time. And then I'm like, is this really something that deserves getting frustrated with or outraged over? Come on now. All right, but anyways, like I said, don't forget, check out the description, check out the pinned comment down below. If you want more behind the scenes of what goes on in YouTube and how ridiculous and silly outrage culture and cancel culture is, check out my book, Canceled Inside YouTube Cancel Culture, all right? But if not, thanks for your time. And if you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos on all sorts of topics, all right? And I wanna send out a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon and everybody who supports the channel in other ways, like getting the books that I write or merch and all that kind of stuff. You're all awesome, all right? Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.